Hello and welcome back to Bomb Tree News. My name is Andron and I'll be covering the news that I found interesting today. Doom for the Nintendo Switch officially got a release date today of November 10th. To accompany this announcement was a video interview from id Software to speak about the latest port of their return to form. The interview wasn't exactly the most exciting you'd see, but when they got to the nitty gritty, we got a grasp of exactly how it will look and play on the Switch. From the footage shown, it does look like textures further away are a bit blurrier than on this more powerful brethren, but the basic feel of wrecking demons is still there. Similar to the initial analysis that Digital Foundry was able to get from the game, entering the partner's panic button targeted 30 FPS to ensure a consistently smooth experience that will still retain some depth of field and other graphical treats for Switch users. When asked about future games coming to the Switch, the duo didn't mention anything new but did speak briefly about Skyrim and Wolfenstein 2, which we already knew about. It seems that Square Enix's Mobius Final Fantasy is going to take a stab at filling in some gaps for a story no one ever needed it for. In support for the upcoming crossover for the game, the publishers revealed a brand new tie-in event that will explain what happened to Titus between the events of Final Fantasy X and the beginning of X-2. The clip currently playing is a Japanese reveal of the crossover, and while I'm always down for seeing Titus in any form, filling in gaps that don't need filling can often ruin an otherwise great character's backstory. Well that's all the news I found interesting today, feel free to share any awesome gaming news I missed in the comments below, and I'll see you guys next time.